Hey guys, so today's video is something very special. I didn't plan on making a video today at all, not like this. And I went to the hobby shop, I picked up an airplane, <laughs> and I am going to learn how to fly today. I got my friend from the hobby shop here today. He works at the hobby shop over in Stockbridge, Georgia, and he's going to teach me how to fly today. He said he could do it. And so the I bought it's a, uh, a carbon club, the S2, it's a 1.3 millimeter wingspan. And so I got to put this thing together. I'm going to unbox it and I'm not going to show you all that. It's a, it's a long process. I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, spend all the time putting it together. There's plenty of assembly videos of this thing online. I watched a couple of them. There's a lot to it. And so, uh, but I'm going to unbox this. Well, I'm not going to unbox it. I'm going to open it up and put it together and get it into the air. And you guys will get to see my first time of flying an RC airplane. I'm really excited. I can't wait to do this. I have wanted an airplane for quite some time i didn't really have a place to fly one and now i i am you know i've hooked up with some people that know some places and so now i can get some some flight time in and i'm just i'm, I'm looking forward into getting into rc aviation and i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe if you like my content if you want to see more rc aircraft i will be getting some more and you guys can come back and see that and by the way the reason i'm doing this right now is because in a couple of weeks the draco is coming out it's releasing it is an aircraft that i have been looking forward to for quite some time if you guys don't know what draco is if i remember i'll leave a link down in the description to the the youtube channel of the guy that actually owns the draco it's a fantastic plane it's super amazing you probably have never seen anything like it it is really cool and when you see it you're probably going to want the rc version of it just like i did and so we pull out the box it looks something like this so you can see there's lots of parts here lots of pieces lots of tape apparently so i'm gonna get this thing together and we'll get it out and see what it's all about get this like to initialize it'll do that every time it won't work until it initializes you'll hear the motor sign the beep just like car does yeah initialize properly ailerons are in the correct position elevators in the correct position rudders in the correct position I just want to make sure it's trimmed out for you. I'm going to adjust that battery. <laughs> Too far back? Uh, just a little bit. That's why it's climbing really well. But I'm more concerned about the wing because we can fix a lot of that. But that's safe mode, so you can watch it kind of do its thing. Only safe mode. So you see how it's really hard for me to turn it all the way over? Right. right. And then, see how that was off? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the difference. You mean, is that a nice safe mode, like beginner mode? or? Yeah, that's the beginner mode. Okay. So then you have multiple loads. I like flying it in with it off because if for some reason if it does fail um i know the airplane is perfectly trimmed and i know it's going to do what it needs to do so but you can see it floats really really well and you can fly it really slow <laughs> so, but i'll bring it in on this one because it's feeling pretty good besides the uh you know little the battery variety. <laughs> I fly a lot. <laughs> all right, guys. So we got it together. It's all in one piece now. By the way, pro tip: the uh, the bags they come in, the bags of screws come in. They're labeled, and they're labeled incorrectly. So I was putting screws in the wrong holes. They are not labeled correctly at all. Like it's supposed to be like a D bag, and there's not a D bag in the. Uh, maybe I should rephrase that. There's not a bag labeled D. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with screws in it <laughs> so but we got it together and now i'm about to take off and fly for the first time and hopefully i don't crash this thing <laughs> let's see what happens all right okay so take it on what should i do so we're gonna go disarmed all right is now armed. okay we are going to um taxi the airplane out we're going to put minimal throttle in while holding the stick back okay um, by doing that, it keeps the tail on the ground and allows you to steer on the ground. Wait, holding this, holding it back keeps yep, it on the ground? because it's a tailwheel driven airplane. Uh-huh. So that means your, your rudder steers you. So you need to keep that 
wheel on the ground. So holding it back, okay, keeps it all the way back in the back position. Okay. So, so that, as tradition, this is our up. Right. So this pulls the tail back. This noses the airplane over. Roll, roll. Rudder is your yaw. Throttle is your speed. It is not your altitude. It is your speed. Right. 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 So all right. So. And then what we are going to do. Um, so we're gonna walk up to the line with it. You're gonna kick it out that way. You're going to fly that way because that's the way the wind has been blowing. You're not gonna leave the line. So you're gonna stay right there. Okay. Um, we need to stay on the flight line. If there are other people. People would be taking off from right to left or left to right um, and still staying in the pattern. So everybody stays on the flight line. We cannot cross this line with the airplane. Okay. So I did a no-no when I did the trim flight, but nobody's here. Right, right. Okay. I already know that. But you're just going to ease the throttle in huh? and gently pull back. You'll feel the tail come up. And as when the tail comes up, that's when you're going to gently pull back. You should be about three quarters throttle when you rotate. All right. So does that make sense? So I'm going to, I'm going to throw it up. It'd be about three quarters. So you're, so you're going to watch the tail come up. Uh -huh. As soon as the tail comes up, you're going to put a little bit of back pressure, not very much. So mm. roughly about, roughly about right there. Okay. So and very little. It'll keep the tail. You'll see it will not want to go all the way over. It's just enough to keep the airplane from going. Whoa. Okay. So, all right. So here we go. A little more, 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 a little more. Whoa. A little more, you're fine. Just keep going. Now pull that back up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Give a little more throttle. You can climb up a little bit higher. We like to be three mistakes high. Give okay. About uh, five seconds to think about what we're doing. So more throttle. And that's a nice happy spot that I like to fly at here. Um, you can go a little higher if you want to go higher, but this is a spot where some people have an issue being able to tell what orientation the airplane is. Right, right. That, that can be difficult. Yep. So. Look, it's slowing down. Is it hitting wind? Uh, nope. You're just throttled back a little bit, so. Um, you keep you're keeping on the back pressure a little bit more than it it's it's trying to just keep you happy uh -huh. if you put a little more throttle in it it'll pick up on speed but it's still at its happy spot um, for the most part I didn't see feel too much air up top so the other thing is we're going a little bit further away so it's gonna look like it's moving slower <laughs> I'm flying so we're to base, or base to final and then square up. So that's where you stop your roll and you stay perfectly parallel to the runway. Um, everything in aviation is a box. Okay. You try to keep it in a box format. So you go down, make your turn, stop your turn, go straight for a little bit, and then make another box. You know, okay. It's just, you're squaring off the box. I feel like it wants to pull to the left a little bit. Uh, is it yawing to the left or rolling to the left? Yeah. Uh, Maybe here. Let me. Let me. I'll hold it steady for a second. Let's get it straightened up. And there you go. Let it go. Uh, nope. You're good. Okay. That's just uh, your input. So the airplane will be kind of hard to uh, uh, bring down. Yeah, it feels like. like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Stay nice and. Up. So what you can do is cut back the throttle a little bit, and then we will put some more trim in and see what she does. Right. So go ahead and let that stick go neutral again at half throttle. Okay. Yes, yeah, half throttle. Yep. Now you're, you should be pretty comfortable. So you can bring it down as as you wish. The best way to bring it down is you just cut throttle. Okay. Um, you don't want the airplane accelerating down. What's that beep mean when I brought brought? Uh, timer. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm watching the timer. Well, well, well that, that that if these people were not while I'm moving the yep. stick. So that is uh, you hitting no throttle, and then where the counter starts. Normally the counter starts at about 10% throttle. Uh, what do you mean the battery. counter? So your battery counter. Oh. 
so your clock because um, you do have to kind of keep it in mind you don't necessarily want to run your airplane all the way out nah uh -huh. um yeah, because you don't want to <laughs> be forced. Out. Well, there's there's a failsafe on the ESC, just like your car, where you still have steering, but you won't have any power. Right. So that's your timer for five minutes. We still have plenty of time. Okay. We're not flying hard. And then we also have that other battery. So you can go ahead and cut throttle right there, and we'll try to float it in real quick. Okay. And I want you to just feel out how long it takes that airplane to slow down and start to want to see how it's starting to transition to a sink. Uh-huh. That's right that transition we want to keep it at. Normally we're trying to keep it down the runway straight down the runway. Yeah, well I mean so it, now you can put power back in, we can go around and then try to keep it at a lower level. Um cuz you see how long it takes to set up for the landing. Right. So a little more power just to keep it on its toes a little bit cuz otherwise if you go into too sharp of a turn it starts to sink again, and then if you accelerate that sink by having too aggressive of a turn, it will stall. Okay. Go ahead and level out. Go ahead and cut that throttle. And then watch it float, watch it float. Give a little bit of right aileron. Okay. Let it level, and then pull back. See that last little instant of transition? That's all you need to worry about where you're rolling back, and that prevents that bounce. So you can go ahead and back taxi it towards us, and that's full back stick, and then your rudder. Keep going, and then just rotate around. Now, if you get going too quick, you'll get what's called a ground loop, and that's where the airplane spins around. Right, right. So you kind of got to be cautious about that. I landed. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was awesome. I landed. <laughs> really, that, that, that's the only part that really concerns me <laughs> is that landing. <laughs> Takeoffs are optional. Land landings are mandatory. <laughs> It's down in one piece. That was so cool. That was so cool. Woo! <laughs> Man, that was that was fantastic. Now we just gotta work on loops, roll, snap rolls, lump box, figure eight. Let's knock those out real quick. <laughs> Doesn't take much once you get it. Okay. You'll know when it cuts off. Yeah. When it cuts off, let me know. Hand me the transmitter and I'll pull it in really quickly. All right, so I can go. Yep, throttle disarmed. All right. And you're ready to go fly. Uh, my, I think the hardest part for me is lining up with the runway. Yep, that just takes practice. Um, getting comfortable to get closer to you with the airplane is another thing. Um, so when you took off, you saw the airplane and it's kind of easing in and then it kind of spun around. Right. That was because you're on that border of a ground loop. You need to transition a little bit faster in the throttle. Okay. The airplane gets up really quickly. You just got to give it. So. A little more, a little more, a little more. Keep going. There you go. Kick the tail out. Yeah. And then just go. All right, so. More, more, more. There you go. Ta-da! Much easier. I'll get the hang of it. Yep. It just takes practice. I can't tell you how many flights I have. So. <laughs> but I can promise it's a lot. Reminds me I need to log my flights today. Feels like it wants to climb constantly. Uh, cut back on the throttle a little bit more. Like half throttle. It just kind of puts it around at half throttle. That's yeah. What it wants to do. See how it levels out and mellows out. It's really amazing how 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 sharp it will turn. Oh, and that's nothing. You can get it tighter. Oh, oh yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just. I'm learning there's still. There's a little battery left. I'll show you how tight we can get it. So, But you see how it kind of swoops back? Kind of pendulums back? Yeah. That's because we put that extra dihedral in the wing. Right, right. And that makes a world of a difference when it comes to learning. I'm sure it does. So, because you don't really have to push hard to stop. 
go ahead and start your turn so we don't cross that flight line. Okay, I didn't know. Yep. Never want the airplane behind us. Right. Always, wherever your peripheral is, that's where you need to be flying the airplane. So I always square up completely perpendicular with the runway. Okay. Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff I don't know. And, and, it's and just practice and time. And like I said, it's getting used to coming out to a flying field, not flying at a park. Um, <laughs> where there's people to actually help you and explain to you how to do it and how to do it right. So yeah, right there, you were on the border of a spin. Okay. Um, the airplane corrected for it. Um, but you do need to be careful on how sharp you're pulling those turns because you lose airspeed as you're pulling through that turn. Right. And if you lose too much, it'll drop the wing and it'll pull the whole airplane into a spin. Okay. So when you when you go into a little bit sharper turn, just give it a little bit more power and just, yeah, pull it around a little tighter and then you level out. Okay. See how it held the, the altitude a little better that time too? Right. It's just little knick-knack things like that. This is so cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll trade the Erebo in. Aren't you glad yeah. I talked you into it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was coming in there for for our aircraft. I didn't know what I was going to get. But these are all. This is the right one. All right. I like this. Yeah. Good airplane to have. So, do you think a Draco is as easy to fly as this one? Because no, it will not. There will be very little dihedral. Um, there will be... Okay, why did you jump up like that? Uh, safe. Oh. Safe felt that you were pushing it down too hard. Uh -huh. So it's trying to stay at a, a, a safe and healthy level. Okay, because sometimes it's doing stuff automatically that I'm not doing... It's just compensating because oh. it thinks you're not trying to do it uh -huh. when you are. And that's the thing I don't like about safe. Okay. Um, is it kind of fights you in some ways. So if you cut throttle, it lets you decline the right way. Um, otherwise, it tries to climb out on you. Right. You're pushing down on the stick. You see, I really don't like it. I, see, right now it's turning and I'm not doing anything. Yep. So let's go ahead and click it into intermediate mode. Okay. See if you like it a little better there. And if you don't, then we can, you'll feel the airplane's gonna be a little snappier. Um, yeah, it is. But it's not trying to keep that auto level on as much it's still trying to just compensate with wind and limit how much roll you really have okay but it's pulling some of the expo that it had out so like safe normally starts at like 40 percent expo and then drops down to like 30 percent expo and then expo what is expo um how sensitive the stick is the higher the number the less sensitive the stick oh is. wow <laughs> not do a roll yet <laughs> i was trying to roll it <laughs> You can see where safe compensates for you in that situation where it doesn't now. Okay, see, 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 see now and I'm having you to... You can really bank it around. Well, see, now I'm having to relearn how to fly. That's the challenge with safe is they, they don't... They compensate so much that it doesn't right. really let you learn. That's why I don't like teaching on safe. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I yeah. I teach with the buddy box system, which is full controls, very limited expo. I will have you land it again in safe, just so you kind of feel out the airplane a little more. Right. Because um, as you can see, it's a very touchy airplane. Yeah, yeah. So well, let's go back. I'm going back in the safe. Is yep. this switch so right it's here? It's going to be this switch right here. Okay. And push down. Okay. And the airplane completely changed. Right, 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 right. Yeah, safe, safe. Learning to fly in safe mode was a mistake. It can be. For some people, it can be. If they have somebody out at the field that can help them learn, right, then right, don't right. Use it. If you're learning on your own, then it's great because it compensates and tries to help you as much as you can. Um, the moment you get off of safe, it can be challenging, and it's kind of like the hard. <laughs> it's 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 mom making you eat your veggies, um, so everything's a little harder. But there's always that panic recovery mode that allows you to recover and tries to help you. So it's still having right. that friend there. Um, to say you can go ahead and cut throttle you yeah. can probably do about three circuits before you can you can land yeah 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 i um i cut the throttle completely yep it's just i guess it's, gl it's gliding right now yep so this is this is the awesome part about the carbon cub is it has a really really awesome glide ratio so, so do, do i need to keep uh, forward on the stick a little bit or uh, you can it'll just keep your airspeed up so go ahead and start your turn 
and then level out. And then keep a little bit of nose down into it. It's got plenty of air speed. It's just completely gliding right now. Yeah. And then go ahead and make another turn now. And then level out. And then now you're set up for your landing. So level out there. Let it let it let it then pull. Much better. Whoo! <laughs> see how much you see how well, that's why I tell you to buy a carbon cab. But it's such light wing loading that it helps dramatically. This is so cool. <laughs> Man, this is so cool. I think I, th I think driving on the ground is harder. <laughs> it is, but that just takes practice. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know how well it came across on camera. I don't know how good it's going to be. I'm going to try to zoom in as much as I can. I know on the little screen on the GoPro, I couldn't see the plane at all. I don't have a camera. You know, I didn't, you know, plan on filming this today or anything like that. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just, you know, I just wanted to learn how to fly. And I, that's why I decided to do it today. And I brought you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, like I said, I don't know how great it is. This is not an, like an RC airplane YouTube channel, so I don't know what I'm doing just yet. I don't know hardly anything about these things, but I had a fantastic time flying this thing. It is so cool. And, you know, I know... I, I didn't know what kind of plane to get to start off with. This is the Carbon Cub, of course, like I said already. It's a great beginner plane. It has like a beginner mode to it. And I was kind of learning to fly on the beginner mode and it's a little too beginner. It's like I, it was doing too much for me. And then when we put it on like the intermediate mode, it was just, I was having a hard time with it because I was so used to flying it on the beginner mode. I was like relearning how to fly. And so, but I mean, that's, I guess it's, that's just what you can, what we have to do, right? But, you know, I really like this thing. I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> just, uh, you know, a uh, big thanks to Logan for bringing me out here and teaching me how to fly today. I learned a lot. I, I landed it twice. I landed it twice. I am super thrilled about landing it. Like, you have no idea. And I think they were pretty good landings. Were they good landings? They were good enough. Good, <laughs> good enough. enough. <laughs> good enough. Good enough. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think I came down too hard or anything like that. And, uh, you know, I didn't roll it or flip it or wreck it. And I'm just excited about that. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. I hope it, the video comes out. I have no idea what it looks like yet. I got to go and edit it and everything else. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it. And that's all I got for you guys. So I will see you guys later.